Collective, you already know what it is. It's a uh, the wind's blowing. It's another motherfucking bedtime story. It's time to buckle it up while I fuck it up, right? We gotta get really into one of those bedtime stories, one that's gonna make the thing go boom, 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 boom. You know what it is, right? We're about to get into it as you can tell by that thumbnail. Huh? Not going, now it's gone wild, right? We're gonna definitely get into this one. This is a story that I wanted to tell, and I've been wanting to tell for a long time. I've been sitting on it like a whoopee cushion, right? Orale, mama no la verga. It's time to get down with the get down and really put it out there, Sasuke. Excuse the attire. I'm about to hit the glue. You feel me? I understand you get you gotta be ready so you don't have to get ready. You understand what I'm saying? Now trip out in a minute style of direct fashion. Let's get straight into it. Now, uh back in the days when I was on the run, and yes, indeed, I was writing graffiti everywhere. I was definitely on the run. And I was running to my demise, right? I was already looking at the penitentiary. I already knew that the case that I was running from, I was going to the pen, nothing but the pen, so help me God. But it was okay. I was already conformed to the fact that, hey, if that's what it was, then that's what it is, right? And I'm ready to go that route. But at the same time, catch me if you can. That's it. There was no way I was going to turn myself in. I was going to go to court. And I was going to do things like that. I'm not down with that. You down with, hey, you done with running, G? Yeah, you know me. Right, and I was ready to run, and I had a homeboy that was in the same predicament, same situation, my crimey, he was down to go too. So ultimately, our we didn't know where we were going, okay? We didn't know where we were going, and I've told the story before as far as us getting to Juarez and Tacos de Perro, Omai, and all that, um, but we absolutely did not know where we were going to run to. We just, who can I run to? I don't fucking know, but we're just going. You know, we're going to go and get there when we get there. So ultimately, our plan after a while of fucking ducking and dodging like an L.A. Dodger and trying to get away from the blackas in town because we're all on the front page of the newspaper. I was looking like did too much. Of, right. I was all fucked up, but I was willing and able to go across America if I needed to, because when you're looking at time and you know you're going to sit down for a few years. Um, uh, uh no, no, no. Mm -mm, Spence, guard. <laughs> you ain't going to get me like that. Sounds good. Are you the ones over here on the theater fishing? Say what? Spell that. Right. No. Amalskis, Bamuskis, Bybyskis, right? Um, so we decided for no other reason to go hit Phoenix, Arizona, which we had a couple of homeboys in Phoenix, Arizona. And actually the chick that my homeboy was fucking with at this time, her brothers were over there chilling in Phoenix. They were like, come on through, come kick back homes. We'll get you guys a room. It's all good in the hood. Now at that particular point in time, I was dating a chick from Saho. Oh yes, she was paying like she was weighing, right? She was out there in the mix, and I had her laced up so game tight. She already knew to kick in before she gets kicked in. Everything was going to go just according to plan. As much as I said, hey, Sasuke, trip, trip out, I'm going to go ahead and need uh, some fucking uh, some zoom zooms and some wham wham. She was going to run that. She was going to run that indubitably. She was all sprung. I'm in love with the Ripper. You know what I mean? I'm ready to go. Um, so I ran her down. Hey, look, I got to go on the run because you see me singing on the newspaper. Yeah, I thought, I thought you were just applying for a job. Bitch, that ain't JC Penney's. That's the Merced Sunstar. They're trying to wrap me up. Wrap a lap So I'm going to go ahead and go on the run. So she was like, the only way that I can help you is put a little feria here and a little feria there to make for you can make the correct moves. I said, that's all I need. Right. So, bam, she was supplying us with a little bit of money, um, trying to help us out the best she could. But there comes a time in your life when you don't just need money. You need push. Right. And I was getting that from town to town and city to city. I ain't going to lie. My immaculate vernacular spectacular homes wasn't shitty. The game was good. But at the same time, when you have a chick at home with a big old pawn, right? You're going to go ahead and need that once in a while. Um, so we would stay consistently on the phone. And she was like, when you get to Phoenix, I'm going to come visit you. Now, I've never had a chick that would walk the ends to the ends of the earth for your boy boy, right? It just never has happened. They always pillow talk. Hey, ain't nothing like that pillow talk of mine. They always tell you what they're going to do for you, but the moment you get locked up or the moment you bounce, more bounce. You know what I mean? They're more bouncing on the next homeboy's chorra. But at this particular time, I knew this chick was laced so game tight, and I, like I said, she was from Soho. They hit different that way. Um, that she was really down with me. She loved me, right? And says, yeah, I love the way she loved me. Because I like the way you love me, hug me, suck me. Oh, yeah, right? So I was on my Brentwood height, and we actually made it to Phoenix, Arizona. From Phoenix, Arizona, to what degree of where we were going, we hadn't called it yet like an alcoholic, but we were definitely on our more bounce and out shit. So we were about to zap up out of there when it was uh, Valentine's Day. 
Now, for those of you that know what Valentine's Day entails, the married couples, that's asking you already like, fuck, hey, why you talking about that still? Two hours, not even Christmas yet. Go get your fucking Walmart candies and your roses ready because your hind is going to be totally upset with you if you don't go that route. Now, me, I was a grimy motherfucker, right? Valentine's Day, pants on, a tira. Where's my present at? Bent, right? That's the hype I was on. I was like, hey, says, okay, where's my candies from fucking C's Candy? I need my issue right off the top. I like the little Rocky Road one, you know, the good one with the little peanut. Run that. Um, so this chick was telling me, she had been, I've been conversating with her, you know what I mean, while I'm grabbing my chorra. If, can you, if this was way before FaceTime, because if not, I would have, I would have, I would have had the phone like that. Palabra. Um, but she's telling me, hey, I got a surprise for you on Valentine's Day. So I said, well, where are you going to send it? To the homeboy Nachos Pad? Or Because we're over there in Phoenix with the homeboys. We're wiggling. We're staying in a hotel. Like I said, we're on the run. We're all blasting on the newspaper. I'm looking like Hogan, like this, you know, on the newspaper. Like, where are you going to go? What are you going to do? How are you going to send this? Um, to what degree of sending? I didn't know what I had coming. I was hoping a big old stack of fucking cash so I could go knock me a chick at the club. I'm dirty, huh? There's highness right now that just unsubscribed. I can subscribe. Look at me. Right? And so that's what it was. Um, but she was like, no, me and the homegirl, which was my homeboy's old lady at the time or his, his side chick, um, they definitely had something planned for us. These chicks, right? They told us, hey, just stick around your hotel. It's going to be coming. I thought it was going to be a telegram. This is way before Uber Eats, so we weren't getting Chinese food. I didn't know what the fuck was going on. I'm telling the homeboy, hey, they got something special planned for us. He was like, damn, what could it be? Either that or they're going to send a task on us. I said, well, if that's the case, that said, whatever it may be, it may be. So I said, I'll never forgive her, right? I'll never forget either, bitch, right? Um, but we're posted up right there, and it's getting late. It's about 1 or 2 in the afternoon. I'm like, damn, bro, you see them scoring cars over there by the pool? Okay, I can't believe I'm missing this, you know what I mean? For some fucking torta that I don't even know she's for real. Trip out on this. A knock at the door. Hey, hide everything, right? We don't got nothing. Okay, well, fucking hide yourself. So that's okay, I got my feet dangling up under the bed of the hotel. You know, they got them low-ass beds. So I was like, I'm trying to get in that motherfucker. I'm like, fuck, okay, this is the, all the way gone to the end of the road. I think I'm done, right? I'm on my voice to men shit. I'm like, fuck, eh? Okay. I'm trying to get my Wanye Morris on. And I'm right there posted up. And who is it? When my homeboy opens his door, he's like, fuck, you know, it's la primera lives. And he opens the door. And that's our chicks. These chicks had rode three different buses just to come spend a little bit of tiempo with us for Valentine's Day. I know there's people right now that are going, oh, how sweet. Hey, within five minutes, I was in the corner. The homeboy was on one bed. I was on the other bed. I was like, how sweet it is to be loved by you. That was the true dedication right there. That let me know she was for reals. You know, so, hey, after I got the meanest mom one I had done, never had up until that point, um, I said, hey, uh, did you bring me some fatty or something? You know what I mean? I'm a cold cat. She was like, Oh, don't trip, baby. I got you. We're going to take you guys out to eat, and we're going to do this. We're going to do that. I said, to what degree of doing that if you don't even have a car? Come on, bitch, get your mind right so you can shine right. She was like, no, we're going to take a taxi. Don't worry. We thought of everything. So I let her think for the night. Usually, I don't let women think um, because when you do, a uh, tragedy happens. Spence, I'm just kidding. Um, but at the same time, I wasn't trying to let this chick think because she was thinking outlandish. She liked to think out the box. Um, but she definitely thunk up some good stuff. It entailed several mamons, a whole writing session. And getting my cat peeled right in front of the whole boy. Now, we'll get to that. So, of course, they took us out to eat to a little fucking uh, marisco. It was bomb. We ate. These hinders knew more about Phoenix than we did. Them chicks did the fucking research, eh? Right? Shit, we were just in a hotel looking through them fucking burn marks where the tweakers left. That's what we were on, right? They took us and showed us the, the, the layout of the land. We went to a club called Panteras in Phoenix. Shit, we were getting our little spooky on, right? It was all good in the hood. Vivo de tres animales. We were there with fucking spray paisas with fur coats on, gold teeth, so I was getting looking like chingo, bling, 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 right? <laughs> wiki, 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 wiki. We were getting our wiki, wiki on in a Phoenix, Arizona fashion and doing our thing. Now, at the same time, these chicks were kind of like, hey, they were like talking amongst their own. So I was like, damn, man. Eh? You know, what's really going on? Hey, do they, uh, is, it, is this the old Folsom setup? Get us nice and full, suck all our energy up out of us, and then fucking turn us in? I think that way. Spence, that's the way I was raised. I was always told to keep aware and stay 10 feet, uh, 10 feet uh, ahead of the game, right? So I'm already thinking skeptical of this chick. Like, so I know she's going to give me a big old stack of money. You know what I mean? She's going to lick my whole asshole. But at the same time, you know what I mean? She might fucking be, uh, turn me into a, you know what I mean? Old fucking Johnny Law. So uh, I'm telling the whole boy, you know what I mean? These hyenas, bro, you know what I mean? Look at, they're big anyway, so that's good, but so they can't chase us. We can run faster. So we're already prepared for whatever the case may be, but I can tell the homeboy is more, a little bit more trusting with this hyena. Whatever she told him, however she licked his ear bone, Jody, Jody, he's feeling it. Me, 
I don't care if she licked me from the Ruta to the Tuta. Huh. I don't believe in Buddha, right? I'm looking at her like, man, you say something. Say it with your chest, right? Um, so trip out. What these highness had planned was a cold twist in the situation. So we're kicking back at the motel, and I'm looking at the homeboy like, damn, we were supposed to be leaving the next morning. So they're already impeding our progress and messing up our plans because where we were wiggling, we didn't want anyone to know. We'll let you know when we get there. So we didn't even know where the fuck we were going, right? Basically, we were going to El Paso, Texas, but we hadn't put it out there yet. Um, and to what degree of getting there, um, we were going to ask for a little bit more feria. Bang, bang. We just didn't know how to wiggle it. So anyways, the chick's like, hey, we're going to spend the night. We're going to leave first thing in the morning. Our bus leaves. Is there any way that you could go with us to the Greyhound? I said, uh, no, absolutely not. You know, even though we were, hey, we had a Greyhound ticket for later on that evening, uh, like later on in the afternoon, uh, we wasn't trying to hang out there and post stuff like sort uh, like motherfucking thumbtacks on the wall, right? Like roaches in a fucking ghetto house. It wasn't ever going to happen. Girl, we, hey, we had an image to uphold, even on the run. You feel me? So the chick was like, hey, so we thought we'd just get hella faded tonight, kick back. And play some games. Well, look it. I don't play no games, boy. We be about killing. You ain't got shit to die for. Shouldn't be living, right? I was like, nah, we ain't trying to play no games. She was like, no, like us four together, like the switch. And I was like, what, what you mean the switch? To what degree of switch? Right? She was like, I'm down for like whatever. And I, I'm looking at my homeboy. He's looking at me. I'm looking at him. He's looking at me. We're looking at each other. I'm looking at his chick. I'm looking at my chick. I'm like, hey, I, I, shit, I ain't tripping, bro. If you ain't tripping, he shit, I'm quick to slip the clip and get the spin. What's happening, right? Uh, needless to say. Um, his chick was tripping. She hadn't discussed this with my chick. This let me know she was a chin son of a bitch, right? Because she was down to suck my homeboy's ball sack, right? And I was like, what? Right? Um, his chick was like, nope, can't do it. I was like, but I'm working with the new You know what I mean? She just wasn't he trying to hear that. She was so sprung on her vocal. But my chick was feeling freaky geeky, right? Freaky ziki ta. And she wanted to really get it on. So she was like, how about, um... We do some, some nasty stuff right here in the room with them. Now, up until that point, we were trying to keep it separated. Like, me and her would go take a walk while he did his issue. Because we had two beds in the room. You know, one room. Um, she even, uh, even his chick got to the point. She was like, let's get another room. I'll pay for it. He was like, nah, I ain't trying to move my shit and do all that. Because we got to leave mañana. Um, so, we were trying to give him the benefit of the doubt. Right? And we would do that. But she wanted to get a little freaky. I want to get freaky. Let me lick you up and down. I didn't say stop. So look, the homeboy's over there with this hyena, and they're over there just laughing. They're watching the TV. They got the TV pointed in their direction. I'm over there on some different shit. I know I'm going to prison, so I'm trying to get every hair uh, plucked on my balls I could, right? So this chick is right there. She goes down. She starts to go downtown on her SWV hype, right? And she gets pretty low. Next thing you know, you just hear, um, I'm not saying the thing. I look at the homeboy. He looks at me. I look at the homeboy. He looks at me. He looks at my people. He sees her head bobbing. He was like, I see she's bobbing the head because I can see it, right? And I said, yep. His chick is like, oh, you guys are nasty. She's actually saying this, right, hating on me as I'm doing this. So I was like, don't hate you. Don't hate the player, hate the game, right? Look, this chick gets on top of me, starts to do all kinds of extracurricular activities I can't even explain because I might get banned. Let's just say it was a great night that night. It's the best Valentine's Day I've ever had up until this point. Um, you know what I mean? I ain't now, that she did something strange and she gave me all her change. I didn't even have to give her nothing, right? All I gave her with some honey love. And I fucking hate R. Kelly. That should tell you. That's real, right? Um, slow love. I, I hit her with that dog box and she was be fresh. And we were doing our thing. Now, the next day they left. The next day they left, right? Um, everything was good in the hood. Now, we actually did wiggle to Juarez, like I said. Um, we know the whole taco de perro incident. We went through that. We were there for about uh, two, two and a half weeks, maybe three weeks, um, when we decided to come back because there were some individuals that were there that... Had told us if you guys don't leave pretty soon, okay, you're gonna we're gonna cut your head off with a chainsaw. I said, nah, I'm gonna go ahead and move. I'm gonna do a moving and Hoover grooving, right? I'm gonna get up out of here just based on the fact I don't need them types of problems. Um, we were able to make it over. The homeboys that were there prior to us getting there, I've told the story. They got caught up at the border and got apprehended. Me and the homeboy, we were able to wiggle. The placa says, hey, do you know where Monterey's at? I said, yeah, so there by Salas. They were like, yep, that's the one. You're good. And little did they know we were wanted like a motherfucker. Like I said, I was on that motherfucker front page of the newspaper doing the fucking Hulk Hogan. You know what I'm saying, brother? Sprinkle the woods in. Anyway, so we make it back. Well, as soon as we make it back, we're on our fucking on the run hype again, as I say. So we don't go directly back to Merced. We end up fucking getting a little Best Western spot in Turlock. Yes, we did. Right off Gold. I think it was off Golden State or something. Anyways, we got a little hotel room in Turlock, and of course, them chicks were there, shit, they were waiting on us, they're the ones that paid for the room, Spence on Latina, right, so they're there waiting, this time we got two rooms, and let me tell you something, 
Best Western night, guys. I owe you guys feria. I, I'm broke, though, so I can't pay you at this point. But sometime in the near future, I will drop off an anonymous donation. I'm going to tell you right now, I ran the paint off them walls. I knocked the stucco out them motherfucking walls. There is no longer sheetrock in that room. I knocked sheetrock downtown, right? I handled my business. Um, that, I knew I was going to be incarcerated pretty soon. So it was at that point I had to do what I had to do and hint it. When I tell you, you know when there's people that are like, what we'll touch every room in here? Sad so guy knocked the linoleum off the floors and the motherfucking shingles off the shingle. I'm telling you right now, I made her back spine, spine pancreas and all that tingle. I was in that shit, ready to go single and mingle, right? Two weeks later, I get popped. I'm incarcerated. It didn't take her, but three days later, she was already giving the homeboy my morning. He's writing me a letter talking about, hey, me and her are going to get married. I said, shit, she still has asbestos in her throat for me. I'm telling you, I towed some shit down. It was like demolition crew in there. Anyways, it be going down like that. It just goes to show you, Hinton, when you when you when you put it down, right? That game, you hit him with that twerk one time. The women will come. They'll follow you anywhere you're at. This chick would have jumped on a camel with the Mr. Capone hat on backwards to get where I was at, homeboy. She would have did it swiftly, like on some blue shit. She would have got wherever the fuck I was because at that point in time, I was that one. Even though I didn't have a penny in my pocket, so I was on the run. I was looking at prison time. My pata stunk because I was wearing socks for two days straight. That hyena bought me brand new socks, gave me the meat of my money I've ever had in my life, and gave me a stack of feria. And the winner is. I guess the tongue game is immaculate when I get to cracking it, right? So definitely that is what happened. That's another bedtime story I just wanted to put out there real fast. Uh, and don't take it lightly because it's true, actual factuals. All that is facts, man. There's a whole bunch right now. He watches my channel. He was my cell, uh, he was my uh, crime partner. He's watching. He's like, damn, bro. Spence, like, I remember that. He'll give me a call tonight. I already know what time it is. He'll be like, fuck, bro. I'll be like, hey, remember when she was giving me a mom on that one time? We hit the high five on her. You know what I mean? We hit the high five. You know what time it is, bro. Hey, the cool part about it is this chick is still in the middle of Merced wiggling. She's now remarried for the fourth time, right? But she knows who taught her. The way I brought her. You know what I mean? There's always that one chick that's a square bearer, that's an L7 that you fucking meet. You know, she comes from out of town. All, My bitch is bad and bougie. My bitch is bad and bougie. And by the time you're done, <laughs> that bitch is just bad. <laughs> and I'm bougie. Right? I got all the money. I knocked it for bad and bougie. Right? And I was doing whatever I had to do. Hey, when I met her, she was a little bit of a torta. She didn't know how to act. Now she's all fine. And she, she got sculpted. He thought, oh, fucking big old BBL and all that. Hey, it is what it is. At the end of the day, you have to do what you have to do. Spend some on that homes. I lace her so someone can embrace her. You know, hey, I done got mine. You can get yours. Leftovers, so I get thrown in the microwave. Warm it up. It's all good, homes. It's a little wanga, but you know what I mean? Wanga is better than no nanga. Anyways, with that being said, I hope that you move smooth with a purpose. I hope that you get every fucking thing that you want coming to you. Remember, at the end of the day, it's all about struggling and striving for what you truly believe in. See, I'm going to go out there and I'm going to get it. I ain't going to hit it and quit it. I'm just going to continue to hit it and continue to hit it. And I slide. And I slide. And I slide. And I'm going to get my issue on. Because that's what we were created for. If you like this, hit that like and subscribe with a thumbs up. If not, and you think I shouldn't be doing this shit, go to you're just man, you're just a bad guy. Hit that thumbs down. Heavy's gonna be the head that wears this crown. Legendary. I'm gonna continue to strive and struggle for what I truly believe in. And that's bringing you guys the best possible content I can on YouTube. Coming together as a people, as a hint to sit back, relax, let the rhymes tax, maintain them, seize while the double E max, and crack them well one time for your mentality helps. Get your little chalada on as I'm getting my mamada on. You already know what it is, and the winner must be the gun. Bang, bang. Look at I'm on my little spooky hype. Hey, my tío, the Paisa would be proud right now. He's like, he's turning over in his grave like, Bang, bang. The gun.